So we're at Stonehenge. Now, I told you guys I was going to bring you guys here. These are ancient monuments. They were built 3,000 years BC. That's 3,000 years before Christ, making them between 5,000 and 4,000 years old, about the time of the pyramids. But look at that. Look at the ancient structure. Now, the question I keep asking myself is that how were ancient people able to get stones, levitate them up? I mean, what technology? Because at that time, you know, I mean, in Europe, they were not as, uh, would I say, progressive as the ancient Egyptians were. So how were they able to do it? And another thing you got to know about this place is a lot of people have said that these are Druid temples. Recent archaeological finds have proven that these were not Druid temples at all. You know, these were built before the Celts came to Britain. So obviously, you know, they were built by some kind of civilization before them. And one last thing about these uh, monuments is that there was human sacrifice here. You know, they've got um, evidence of human sacrifice. So a lot of people are surprised about that. Yes, you had human sacrifice in this country, Britain, about that time, and even after, the Druids also had human sacrifice. But we're here, let's enjoy it. No one quite knows what the use of this uh, monument was for, but then some people suspect that it was used as uh, something to measure the sun, the winter solstice, the summer solstice. I mean, so it's a supposition, you know, it's a guesswork, because, you, I mean, there were no written... Uh, uh, information about what this was used for. So you can see here right now, so you, you see this is to measure the midsummer sunrise and then it goes on and then you come over here and then over here you measure the midwinter sunset. It's a guesswork, you know, I mean when I went to Egypt, the temples in Egypt, they had something similar and this was built around the same time as the um, Egyptian monument, so it's a possibility, but then it's not a certainty. So remember when I told you guys that this is an area that they used for human sacrifice and also burials. So now, check this out. This is one of the skeletons they found there, and they, they tried to recreate the face, and this is what the person would have looked like. When no travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see I must full of greatness, Reno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand That's why Reno is a